Good morning everyone and welcome to beautiful Scotland. I'm on a little Scotland boat trip and today is one of the days that I've been most excited about. I got lots planned so I thought I would take you along. The first thing we are doing is going to a place called Mid Hope Castle. It's a film location for the show Outlander. I seem to have fallen through time. I was on my honeymoon in 1945. 200 years from now. If I was going to survive, I needed to acclimatize myself as quickly as possible. I knew where I was, but when? During lockdown, I think I've watched Outlander around three or four times, like all five seasons, over and over and over again. And it has been such like a comfort show to me. I kind of said to myself that whenever lockdown is over and it's allowed to travel again, I would go up to Scotland and visit some of these locations. So I've taken a week off work. I got in my car and I drove from Brighton up to Scotland. <laughs> So if you are an Outlander fan, Mid Hope Castle is the filming location for Lallybrock, um, which is obviously where Jamie Fraser is layered off. I'm gonna try and find this castle and take you along. I really hope this is the right way, but dinner flash, I'm sure I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm gonna say it. Take me home to Lallybrock. Look at it! It's so pretty! It's perfect! I'm now here in front of Lallybrock and I'm so excited. There are so many people cutting grass right now. It's so loud. So this is not great for vlogging. But um, yeah, here is yeah, Mid Hope Castle or Lallybrock as they call it in the show. It is obviously just a facade, unfortunately. There is nothing on the inside. It is a shell. I feel like if they made this into like a Outlander B&B, it would be so popular. <laughs> now that the lawnmowers are gone and we hear the birds again and it's empty, I'm gonna show you kind of the castle here. So here we obviously have the entrance where Jamie was sadly whipped um, <laughs> by uh, Blackjack Randall. And, oh, it's so cool walking through here. This is obviously quite a special scene because when they return uh, to Lallybrock, this is where they meet Jamie's sister and his nephew and Ian. I mentioned this before, but I absolutely just love going to locations like this. It is so cool. I'm on the stairs, I'm on the stairs. <gasps> Come and let us live, my dear. Let us love and never fear. And let amorous kisses dwell on our lips again and tell. So we are back in the car and I'm really happy that I went to see it. It was a little bit of shame about all the lawnmowers <laughs> like going off. At the beginning there, because I was just standing there for so long, just waiting for them to finish. But um, eventually they did, and I think I got uh, one or two pictures and uh, got to show you guys around. I also met the most lovely couple up there by the castle. We had a little chat about Outlander, and uh, yeah, they were equally as excited as I was. They were like, we just got to season four. <laughs> so cute. Now I'm actually heading up to another Outlander location. Surprise, surprise. We're now heading up to a town called Falkland, which ends in the kingdom of Fife, I believe it's called, uh, which is the location from the first episode and actually throughout the first season and second series. It's the town that is in Renesse. Um, in the show so I'm excited to see that and we're gonna yeah just head north we are again in a very small village where it's very quiet so it's awkward as hell to vlog but here we are this is the town square and if you again watch Outlander you know that this is uh, where the weird Jamie ghost is And this is where Frank is like, hey, what are you doing? Oh, this place is so pretty. There we go, that's the hotel that Claire and Frank stayed at. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. So I'm back in the car and uh, Falkland was very, very cute, very small, not um, that much to see other than uh, <laughs> obviously the Outlander location, which is like the town square. What, however, I did find 
it's in a bag, which means it is edible. I found a bakery that does vegetarian haggis. I'm a vegetarian, so I've never gotten to try haggis, and I feel like that's can't go to Scotland without having that. So I'm gonna have a bite of vegetarian haggis. Oh. Okay, I got like only crossed two seconds. <laughs> it's actually really good. I approve. If I at some point during this road trip see one of those uh, Highland cows, like you know the really fluffy ones, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. They are so cute. All right, so we have made a quick little pit stop on my way to our next location. Um, I think it's safe to say that we are officially in the countryside. There's like a hill with sheep over there. <laughs> as well and there's like a mystical fog coming on on the side oh. so the next place i'm taking you to is another castle and it is actually the castle that inspired walt disney's cinderella's castle this is absolutely gorgeous tiny pink castle so uh, yeah i wanted to go there i keep on seeing like instagrams from there and i'm like i really want to go although again traveling alone so i don't have anyone to take nice instagram pictures of me in front of castles but yeah i got about 40 minutes left to drive now until I'm there, so I'll catch you there. I have no idea where I am. I don't know where I am. But I'm in a cloud. Can't see anything. Guys, look at my view. It's just so much fog. I don't know where I am. Help. <laughs> I pulled over. It's really steep. The hills. Probably a place with beautiful views, but I just can't see anything. I'm gonna have to figure out what this mystical, magical Scotland Valley is called. <laughs> now I'm in a forest. I'm so confused. <laughs> I thought <laughs> my GPS always takes me like the weirdest ways. I genuinely thought I was gonna be on like a highway the whole way up. I'm 25 minutes till I arrive at my pink castle. Hopefully, I don't have to cross any more misty mountains. Um, can you imagine if it was like an outlander, Claire goes to the stones, I go through Misty Mountains, come out, a bunch of Highlanders. Oh, a girl can dream. <laughs> okay, I made it and I'm about to go up and see the castle. You're not ready for this, because I'm not ready for it. Oh my god. Here we are in front of the most beautiful fairy tale castle I've ever seen. This is Craigavar Castle here in, I think we're officially in North Scotland, guys. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I don't know how I'm gonna get a cute picture in front of that. There's nobody here. Also, like obviously the castle is closed, but I didn't have to like pay any entry anywhere and there's nobody. <laughs> I got this place all to myself. It's not too bad. Guys, I just looped around the other side and it's even more gorgeous from here. Look at that. Oh. Oh. I've sat down and officially claimed this land. So lovely out here now and I can't believe that there's nobody else here. Uh, it's completely empty. I had one couple that walked past and they've left now. My car is the only one in the parking lot right now. So. I'm just enjoying this. How often do you have a freaking fairy tale castle for yourself? Also, as you can see, I successfully had a small little photo shoot. I think I actually nailed it this time and got a few good pictures. I got one of these things uh, recently, which is um, like an uh, inter, what are they called? Inter interlometer. <laughs> it's a selfie timer thing so that um, I can just have the controller in my hand and then take a lot of pictures from really far away. So that was Craigievere Castle. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy I came here. Apparently Mondays are the day to go. There's literally nobody here. And uh, yeah, as I said, it's closed, but the grounds are open, so you don't have to like pay an entrance fee, <laughs> which is always nice because your girl's broke. Um, <laughs> uh, but now I'm gonna drive all the way up to Inverness, which I believe is about two hours. How far into the Highlands do you have to go before you get the Highland cows? Because these are just normal cows. Look at them. Look at them. So normal. Hi. Still cute though. Good news. I figured out where we are. We are in Craig Norms National Park. Um, that's what I thought earlier, but I didn't want to say it just in case I was wrong. Uh, bad news is my water bottle has leaked all over my stuff, so I need to find a place to stop and fix this. <sighs> Look at 
of this road. It's so cool. Look at this. Is this like a ski center? Can you ski? <laughs> Listen to the Norwegian getting all excited. The ski stuff. Oh my god, snow, 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 snow. There was snow. That was cool. I don't know where I am, but it's gorgeous. So we don't care. Oh god, I just drove past a sign that says welcome to the highlands. I thought I already was in the highlands. Okay, I'm not looking at my camera, so I don't know how much you can see, but there's mountains and they have snow. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, it's happening. It's happening. I pulled out to the side of the road for this. Are you ready? There he is. Look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. Guys, this is the best day of my life. Hi. Oh, you are so cute. And look at your little horns. Hi. Oh, you're so goofy looking. Hi. <laughs> Oh, one's so itchy. All right, so those two did not care about my uh, dream in life, which was to meet them. So that was disappointing, <laughs> but they're so, they're so goofy looking. I love them. I'm still on the road today. I'm heading up to uh, the Culloden Battlefield area. I'm not sure if it's open. If it is, I'm definitely going to stop by. We're keeping up with the Outlander theme here today. <laughs> After a few more hours in the car, we have now officially made it to the Culloden battlefield. And this is where the famous Jacobite rebellion versus the British army took place in 1746. Now I'm here for my Outlander themed day, but it is really, really fascinating. Like the whole history uh, of the Jacobites and you know, who had the rightful kind of claim to the throne, even though I am fangirling because of Outlander. I am also a history uh, <laughs> graduate major. So yeah, it is really, really cool going around here. And as I said, they have the stones around here with all the clan names. The Battle of Culloden was fought on this moor 16th of April, 1746. The graves of the gallant Highlanders who fought for Scotland and Prince Charlie are marked by the names of their clans. I found the Clan Fraser Memorial and I feel like this area is much more worn than any of the other stones. So like, look at these guys, they have grass. This one's just gravel. <laughs> I wonder if that's because of the show or not. You are Fraser? Yes. I am. All right, lads, we are almost done for today, but there's one more very important thing that we need to do before we can complete this Outlander themed day. And that is, of course, to go through the stones. We have to go through the stones. We have to go back. <laughs> Uh-oh, she got the tripod with her. There's nobody here, which means that I actually have the guts to do a little stone photo shoot. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this area is called Clava Cairns. You can see it right here. It is one of many stone circles that um, is in Scotland. And nobody really knows exactly where the author of uh, Outlander got her like idea of stone, the stone circles from, uh, but a lot of people think it's here just because it's so close to Clodden Battlefield. It took me like five minutes to drive. Wow, guys, it's so weird. It's like, I hear this buzzing. That's so weird. Wow, I'm gonna have to add sound effects to that. That's so weird. I feel oddly drawn. This uh, slab of rock here. Oh, weird. Maybe I should just touch it and see what happens. I'm such a fucking nerd. I'm so happy and there's nobody else here. I want to touch the stone. Hope I don't disappear. Hello?